I will pay any amount for your daughter's life. No money could ever amount for my daughter's life. I will never forgive you. Sorry, please forgive me. I will admit my mistake. My daughter. She was so dear. She was just a child. We trusted you. We have put our faith on you. Mr. Benaventura? Mr. Benaventura? Can you hear me? Who's there? Please help me. Shh. Someone might hear me. Who are you? Just keep quiet. This will be fast. What's up with you today? It's just 9 a.m. My duty is still at 12. I'm just worried, you know. She's still being in the dock again. Again? Why? Call me for the dock. EJ, calm down. Dad is on his way now. Kuya, call man on the Let's flash her to the hospital now. Shh. Mom, so you're in this way now. Luis, the car. Get the car ready. What's happening? Emilia, Elijah, Luis, Lando, let's bring her to the hospital. Mr. and Mrs. Brindley. Is there any other way? Please save her. We know we're doing our best, but it's the only way. I'm also sad about her having congenital heart disease. Doc, please save our daughter. We'll pay no matter what. But don't worry, Mayor. You know, she's in good hands. I'm afraid that she might have pericarditis. A doctor, a friend of mine, told me about this. Don't worry, Mayor. Your daughter is in good hands. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. I'm still worried about her. She's always in pain. Of course. I'm feeling like that too. I don't even know if I could trust that doctor. All we're left to do is to trust and pray. Besides, Dr. Hidalgo is a renowned heart surgeon. I'm still afraid. Even though I made a background check, I think it's still not enough. Is our daughter's life at stake? God will make a way. Just have faith. Please let her live. The operation. Let's all make this one successful. The blood pressure is dropping. Anesthesiology. Do your job. Doc, you've got the wrong vein. Bring more blood. There's no time. Doc is not responding very well. Begin the CPR now. Mrs. Benaventura. Doc, how's our daughter? Why are your faces like that? We did our best. We tried to save her. What do we try to save her? I'm sorry, Mr. Benaventura. The surgery is a pain. I'm deeply sorry. What? What do you mean? Surgery is a pain. What do you do? 
Your brother got the hair alive. We trusted you till her very last breath. We trusted yes. you. We we are deeply sorry. I know. I mean, my surgery is not successful, but not, but not all. It's just different this time. We won't let his life. His father is the mayor of the city. I'm here with you. Ricardo, no. We can't fight without evidence. Besides, we can put on to the records of a larger surgery just because we want to. We already tried, and they say it's confidential. Say, they say it's confidential. So please, just let's stop. Then, I'll pay them. I'm desperate, Emilia. Desperate. I miss our daughter every day. I want to know if there was a malpractice or not. I've seen some cases that the family can look through the surgery records. I'm wondering why they're hiding the truth. Let's rest for now. My body's not ready because of thinking about us, daughter. What rest, Emilia? If you don't want to fight for our daughter, then I will. I can't let this slide. They won't let this go to court. They don't want to settle this legally and make that silly old doctor pay. Ricardo. Calm down. Please. Just be first. Ricardo, please. No. You expect me to sit down here and do nothing? I've never slept properly since the day she died. I'm sure there was a malpractice. The table death rate was so slow. Our daughter is strong. I know that for sure because she fought this disease for so long. Ricardo, stay. I know what you're thinking. Please. It's the only thing I can do for our daughter. Hey, I'm on a duty for tonight. Yes, take care. There's someone who wants to talk to you. Shall I let him in? This late? Sure. Oh, Mayor. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. We see. What is that you want to talk about, Mayor? Our know surgeon had a malpractice. Funny, don't you think? What malpractice? What are you talking about? I'm going straight to the point since I don't like seeing your face. I'm going to call the guard. Don't come near me. Then go. Throw it. As if you can, pay for my daughter's life. No money could ever amount for my daughter's life. I will never forgive you. My daughter. She was so dear. She was just a child. We trusted you. We have put our faith on you. When she entered the operating room, we gave her 100% trust. I... 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 <laughs> Mr. Benaventura? Mr. Benaventura? Can you hear me? Who's there? Please help me! Shh! Someone might hear me. Who are you? Just keep quiet. This will be fast. Tell me, Ricardo, was it you? No, Amelia, please, believe me. I was not the one who shot him. I was unconscious that time. I can't remember anything. I believe you, but how? Was there gun? I also don't know. But who killed Dr. Hidalgo? That's not, that's not sure, Mom. Maybe someone who wants his riches and money. Or so, or someone. Maybe, but I'm glad Ricardo's hope are high once more. Morning, Mom. Please. 
Please rise. The Court of the Regional Judicial Circuit Criminal Division is now in session. The Honorable Judge presiding. Ready for the people, Your Honor. Ready for the defense, Your Honor. You may now be seated. Your Honor and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the defendant has been charged with first degree murder of Dr. Romualdo Hidalgo. Evidence has shown a gunshot wound on his chest and the defendant's fingerprints were found in the hand of the gun. Your Honor and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, under the law, of my client is presumed innocent until proven guilty. During this trial, you will hear no real evidence against my client. You will come to know the truth that Romualdo did not in fact kill the victim and was unconscious when the event happened. Therefore, my client is not guilty. The prosecution may now call upon its first witness. The people call on the janitor of the hospital. Please stand, raise your right hand. Do you promise that the testimony you shall give in the case before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? I do. Please state your first and last name. Michael Limera. Where do you work? I work at the Villa Tutelarica Hospital. Where were you on the night of February 12 at 11 p.m.? In the hospital during the night shift. Did you witness the murder when it happened? I was cleaning near Mr. Hidalgo's room when I heard a gunshot and a woman ran away. Did you recognize the woman? No, sir. She wore a cover on her face and ran to the exit really fast, so I couldn't recognize her. Were you there to witness it? I was in another room across Dr. Hidalgo's office. Does the defense have any questions? Not at this time, Your Honor. The witness may be excused. Please state your first and last name. I was asked to check them for fingerprints at my dog. There were several fingerprint impressions. Yes, the prints that I found on top of the gun were identical to the fingerprints taken from the defendant. I knew it wasn't. I felt that our daughter stopped me from doing it, killing Dr. Hidalgo. I'm glad that I had those thoughts. I also realized that revenge and what is less than forgiveness. Forgiveness could make you happy. The latter sets you free. We won't ever go through this again.